Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4 kids at 147 and I am finally going to get caught up for now on my de-kitting uh, by kitting down my Paint Gem Mini Doors Edition. Uh, so it's a lot of colours this one. It actually filled my extended tub and I have ABs in this one in this little mini one because I do like to add in some ABs I also did and add in some like little diamond dust um diamonds as well from that I got from my mystery painting and yeah I've practically used all of those up so I'm going to pop my little pots back in here I'm not I'm trying to put them roughly in the same sort of colours but to be honest it's moved about quite a little bit if any of you have followed my channel for a while I have changed the way that I decide to kit up my paint gem minis and I've gone to a four drawer unit from Art Dot and I have three kitted up at a time uh, but this has been waiting to be de-kitted because I've been doing I've been pushing my whips in front so that I could get new paintings to work on. Um, so yeah, this is sort of this is going to go back to being my the the storage the way it normally is once I've de-kitted this. So I won't be kitting up another paint gem mini yet. Uh, but I've taken those little pots out and put them back. So I am going to grab. All the little, or some of the little pot, the bigger pots that actually came in this case originally. I have a drawer full of extra pots in here. So we'll pop seven back in there and close that one up. So that is now as it should be. And it can go on my storage shelf for whenever I need that extra little bit. But now I do need to put away these diamonds because I like to rearrange my symbols to be according to symbol type for when I'm working on it. I am going to de-kit this one um, with all of the boxes out. I've actually found it's become a lot easier to just get all the boxes out to de-kit, especially when the numbers have got jumbled up. Um, when the numbers aren't jumbled up, I just tend to work from one to the other end. But when they're jumbled like this, so much easier to de kit. Um, I am going to be making my little foam parts for this storage to help it all sit a bit further forward. At the moment, I've currently got more of those said little bottles in there. Um, I am going to be doing that. I have popped it on my video schedule, um, which means it will get done at some point and I will basically just do a video and we'll tidy up putting some foam board uh, in the back of those. A bit like this 900 is. I'll make basically a few of these I'll make uh, and then I can put as many as I need in and then just take them out when I don't need them, when I end up filling it up even more, which is bound to happen. Um, so yeah, that's a future plan. Uh, I think I'm going to do the foam board on the tray storage first, because there's two different things I want to do with foam board, and I did ask you guys if you wanted me to do a video on it or just while I was doing it or show you once it was finished. But you did vote um, for me doing a video on it. So I will bring my foam board in and we will hash it all out together and figure out how it's gonna work one way or another. Um, now, as I am de-kitting these I was going to pop them back in here but I am going to put that storage back to rights so what I need to find is oh here's one I've actually pinched these from one of these 28 container boxes this is a double 28 
so it's actually got two rows for storing them so I'm going to throw those back in while I'm at it and at least then I'm sort of tidying up as I go which is always what I prefer so we'll get it's going to take me a while I think to get through these diamonds four one four so I use my little book mark just to determine where it is the bag goes I like to put the bookmark in between um, so if I can show you on this one in between so behind the piece of card but in front of the bag and then I take the bag out pop all my diamonds in and catch that floater pop my spare diamonds in and then I can use the length of the bookmark to slide the bag back in where it's supposed to go. Uh, it's just the easiest way I find to get, to keep track of, of what number I'm up to and where that number is. Uh, but I like to keep my spares. I haven't had to use them for paintings that have been missing a colour a huge amount but I have had paintings that have been missing a colour. One was very, very early on in my diamond painting journey, should we say. So yeah, one was very early on um, and I actually didn't have any of that colour by then. I now have gazillions of it. If I remember rightly, it was like 996 or 997. It was one of them. Um, and that colour has cropped up on paintings so much since. But in, when I ran out, I didn't have any at the time. Um, somebody kindly sent me some from a Got Diamonds group on Facebook. Um, another time I have run out and I have had them in my spares. So I've been able to top up my painting um, and carry on and finish the painting off with no trouble. Uh, what I've also done with my spares is I do have a playlist but I have done a heaven and earth design which is a cross stitch pattern on a blank canvas using spare diamonds. Uh, very blessed people actually contributed diamonds towards that project as well. Uh, there were some numbers that I didn't have uh, and there were quite a few numbers that I needed more than I had because it was two and a half meters long that project only 40 centimeters wide but if you think of like a 30 by 40 painting two and a half meters is very long taller than me well I'm short so that probably isn't a very good <laughs> explanation um but yeah that was a four year long project that has recently finished so the playlist you can see the whole thing um, and you can see it all finished as well uh, so I did use spares for that um, now I am keeping up to the maximum of one bag one full bag of spares per colour and I do pass on diamonds to other people that are doing the likes of a heaven and earth design project for themselves um, so that they can get used for that and then of course I have some for myself in case I ever get sent not enough diamonds. I've also had in the past where I've actually been sent um, the wrong diamonds uh, so it was for an unboxing for a company and they did send me the right ones out so that I could um, show that in the video but um, it's like a, a mis slight mistake was made with the numbers in the factory um, and I actually got sent, I think it was a green instead of a blue, um, so it wasn't right for the painting. I know the colour was definitely wrong for the painting itself. Um, so that can potentially happen as well. Uh, just, you know, a slight, oh, 
got a new colour. Uh, slight glitch, human error type thing um, can happen in some instances. So I am going to take that sticker off there first up because I have a new colour. I have been diamond painting for years now and every now and then I still end up with a colour that I've not had before. Um, so it's very exciting when I, well, I like it when I end up with a new colour. Um, it always makes me wonder when I will get to the point of having every single DMC colour in my stash. Do we think that will happen? How many more years will it take? Uh, but I will update my logbook in a moment with that. That 800 row is very long. I might have to shuffle it over a little bit when I do my foam blocks for it. It's because I was trying to keep the numbers round in each box um, so that it was easy enough for me to look at which box I needed if and when I did. Okay, it's another row down. It's shrinking. You can see we're shrinking, we're getting there. Um, other, another common question I get asked on my de-kittings is do I keep diamonds from different companies or diamonds that might be slightly different shades? Do I keep those separate to others? Um, the answer is no. I personally don't. I used to. So if you've seen some of my initial videos, especially when I first came up with this storage system, um, back oh, years and years and years ago, it's been adopted by so many now. Uh, but when I first came up with this storage system, I did used to keep um, a different manufacturer separate that had nicer diamonds. And I used to keep color variants different. So if you can see this 211, there is some paler purple in there as well as some darker purple. I don't do that anymore. Um, primarily because I have so many diamonds, so many different um, you know, amounts of diamonds. There's not many colours now that I don't have any, even less after de-kitting today. Um, so what I found was it was just getting, every number was just ending up with two or three different bags, uh, whether they be different shades or whether they be a certain manufacturer I was keeping out separate. And it just got to the point that Frankly, there was just too many diamonds. There was too many bags taking up too much space. It's taken me quite a while to actually move to having four boxes for my square spares. Um, I don't have a lot of space, so I much prefer um, having less boxes for my spares. I want to store my spares. I want to have that option, especially if needed uh, for a painting, because I'm impatient. I don't want to wait for replacement diamonds to arrive. Um, but I just don't have the space to be keeping separate bags for either certain manufacturers ooh, or certain shades. I completely missed the bag. Um, so what I've done is I've taken the decision, say, to have one bag per colour. I may also um, take out some of the diamonds for some colours that I have that are getting a bit full and put them in my giveaway box. Um, but yeah, I mix them together. The main reason or the main thought behind it is if I do get a painting where I've ran out of a colour. So, for example, I had a painting that ran out of 307 for whatever reason. And this has got a couple of different shades as well. Um, it could be that it's this lighter shade that I've got less of, or it could be this darker shade that the painting needs. Um, but what I do is I tip this into a big tray, like one of our mega trays, um, work out which is the closest colour. Oh, I've actually got a paler one down there as well from 
a while ago. Um, work out which is the closest colour and then, you know, I could see the, that in the big tray and pick those colours out to finish it off. Um, and it's a lot easier to me than having, you know, say three, four, I mean, some of the shading, you could have five or six different bags under each number. If the thoughts of that, should we say, potentially frightens you, which it may do, um, then by all means, keep them separate. Uh, this is one of the extremes. We see this 452. That is an extreme. Uh, that's more the true colour. However, I have obviously had a couple of paintings that have been well off on the look of it. Um, but yeah, I never know which one I'm going to run out of. So I could match it up to the DMC codes, match it up closer and go, OK, that's actually the right one. Uh, but if I, I then have a company that's provided me with one that's completely off from what, say, DMC said, then I'm then going to have to go hunting for that colour anyway. So I'd rather keep them together and then just go hunting for the closest one and do it that way instead. But that, again, is my personal choice, partly due to, you know, the storage. And some people don't understand why spare diamonds are kept. And I get that. Um, there are times when it's like, OK, why am I keeping these? I've done my heaven and earth design. I hardly ever run out of diamonds. Somebody would be happy to send me some if I did. But then it's like, but if everybody did that, then nobody would have spare diamonds to send, including myself. Uh, and it's a request I get often. So, yeah, I, I actually quite enjoy the process of de-kitting. I like knowing that I have sets of diamonds to be able to grab as and when. This is one of the colours that I think I need to take take some out of that bag and put it in in my to share and then use it to de-kit and top up as I go along. There's a few I will do that with. Probably, uh, maybe I'll try and do it over this next week or so, a week or two. Um, and if I can get it done then before I create my foam board things, then they'll fit better. Um, but yeah, that's why I decide to keep my spares and that's why I decide to keep them separate and things as well is purely storage, storage reasons. I already have eight photo boxes, six of them hold my spares and two of them hold my diamonds that are to give away and pass on to somebody else. So I already have quite a lot of space taken by extra diamonds. But I really have to keep it reined in. Keep it reined in just a little bit. Um, it's really nice building the collection uh, in the beginning. Hang on, where, oh, it is that first one. Um, yeah, it's really nice building up the collection in the beginning. And it's still nice to every now and then have a colour that I've not had before, like I have had on this one today. Uh, it's really nice to sort of go, oh, got a brand new colour that I've never worked with before. Um, so that's a nice feeling, though. They are getting a bit, a bit few and far between now because I've been diamond painting for so long. Uh, it's taking a bit longer for that to happen. But with this many colours, I'm kind of not surprised that I have managed to find, um, to find a new colour. Right, I have one more strip to do. I have left the little pieces of dryer sheet in these tubs that has stayed stuck in the bottom because I can potentially use it for future ones. Um, in here I do have 310. I do store 310 differently 
just purely because of how many I have. It is by far quite easily the colour that I have the most of. 996, I'm pretty sure that is the colour. Um, both the colour that I ran out of first, I'd ever run out of, so it was either 996 or 995. Um, this was also the colour that was wrong in a painting. They'd actually sent 966, so if you turn it upside down, 966 is what they had been sent instead of 996. And I think 966, if I remember right, yeah, it's a pale green. So it's quite a bit different to what it should have been. Uh, but knowing, you know, if errors like that do happen, I have the chance to continue with the painting, finish with the painting. Um, even if I do contact the manufacturer to let them know, um, it would a lot of that would depend on how long it's been that I've had the painting because I think after a good few years I just deal with it if it's a brand new recent one that might be a bit of a different matter right that is all done I do need to grab this is my bag of 310 it's just an A5 zip wallet and I just throw them in and if I ever need 310, I just take one of one of these, take the lid off and just scoop it. It's what I used to do when I was filling it up for my heaven and earth design. I just scoop, scoop and top it all up. When I did my craft room tour in here to show you the setup, now this is back being a craft and a filming room. I did actually spill my 310s in my drawer. So to give all those that watch regularly an update, no, I have not yet cleaned that up. It's something I am very good at ignoring uh, due to the forget fact that I forget about it until I'm de-kitting and I'm not dealing with it on video. Okay, so I've finished all of those. Um, so this tub has a double layer, which is why I've always liked it for paint gem. Um, if you put in some of these, you get more little pots. But they originally came, if I push them out from under these, they originally came with these bigger section ones. These are the ones that came with it. So I am going to pop these all back together, because while I'm using those drawers at the moment... I may use this potentially for a future project, um, especially if it's a smaller project and I may know that I'm going away and want to take it with me. I can pop my tray and my pen and stuff in the bottom, my diamonds, grab my diamond painting and off I go. Um, or I may want to use it for a future paint gem mini set again if I'm going away. Uh, if I do, I will decide depending on if it's got more than 28 colours whether to switch the pots over or not. But I have enough of those 28 containers to not worry at all. I have gazillions of them. Okay, let's update the logbook. So for my paint gem, oh, sorry, not my paint gem. For my logbook, I have, which one is this? This one. This one with my that holds my work in progress. So these are paintings that I am working on at the moment or were last time I did um, the last time I did my logbook update. So it holds my whips, which is my current three sets of paint gem minis. Um, I've already updated with these doors. But it also holds a list for my spares, my spares in AB, um, my conversion charts and details for my Heaven and Earth design. That was actually my old one, so that needs updating. Uh, but I do want to update my DMC spares. And as you can see, I have a lot, a lot of ticks. Uh, and I have a column for square and a column for round. Uh, and I do have most colours, especially in square. But I can add a new one, 3716. 
I actually don't have this colour in either round or square. So this is the first time that I have had either. And as you can see, I've got one here I've got in round but not square. I've got one here I've not got in either. I've got one here I've got in round but not square. Uh, there's more gaps in the rounds than there is in the squares, but I've still got a few to fill. It's a bit like a bingo card. So that's been updated. So that sticker can now go. And last thing is to show you um, the completed doors. So they are away in our A5 uh, pocket book. This is what we do sell these in the shop. We also sell the front covers and the stickers. Um, but you can see where I added ABs, mainly in the flowers. So this Christmas one has quite a lot in the flowers. We have a little bit in the wreath, some in the tree here and a little bit down here. So I've sort of put it in the reds and the pinks and things. Take quite a few in that one. I'm trying to work out if you can actually see it as well. Is that a bit better? Maybe you can see where the extra sparkle is. But I primarily went for flowers uh, and little bits on trees. Then we've got a turquoise door, just the pink flowers on this one. I like to highlight things just a little bit with ABs. Uh, this one is the pink door. These little red dots are ABs. And one of these colours of purple are ABs. There's actually three purple colours there one of them I changed out for an AB. I also use my fairy dust diamond, my diamond dust diamonds in the top part of the window, this darker blue, so it just has that extra little shine, like the window has a little bit more shine. Purple, this again I added ABs in pink, I also added some ABs in blue on this tree, and I just switched out colours um, in the in the book that we already had. So this one I only changed purple, so it's just on two of them. This one, it's the red, so there's actually quite a bit of red around here, but again, it's only a, just a little scattering of each one. This one is red and pink, has got that extra little sparkle for ABs, and I can see it through the clear plastic here. I'm not sure how well it's coming over on camera. Uh, pink and purple on this one, again, just the flowers. I did on that one to give it extra sparkle. Then we have a purple door. I did the diamond dust diamonds on the window again, uh, and then it's just pink on this side. Uh, wooden doors, this is the pink and a little bit of the purple that's all mixed in. It's also got some of the red as well, sorry, some of the red on the door and red in this plant is also an AB. Uh, then we have a red door, this has some pink and purple ABs, just the little bits on the flowers and in the pots. And this blue door has some red and a little bit of pink. It's only a couple of bits of that side, not really anywhere else. So that is my doors collection. I'm finally caught up on putting my paint gem mini sets away. Um, next time when I finish my set of three paint gem minis, I will be de-kitting all three together. So get ready, if you like a de-kitting video, get ready for that epic one. It won't be for a while. Uh, I think I'll be de-kitting hugging a mug coffee one before then. Uh, but at least I am now caught up on de-kitting for the moment. I don't think it'll last more than a week uh, before I'll have finished my next one. But thank you so much for joining me and I'll speak to you all again soon.